Welcome to the world of RGP. In this video we are going to show the procedures of RGP fitting. Firstly let us know what actually is a RGP lens. Now let's get started. General procedures include history taking. Here we take general history, ocular history, medicine history etc. While examining the visual equity, we will be checking the distance as well as near visual acuity with and without correction along with pinhole to check for any ocular media opacity. Next we will be performing retinoscopy to note down the power. Now let's move on to keratometry. Here we use a device named keratometer also known as ophthalmometer, is a diagnostic instrument used for measuring the curvature of the anterior surface of the cornea. Let's watch a video clip where we have used an automated keratometer to measure the corneal curvature and the axis of astigmatism. The K1 and K2 value of left eye is found to be 41.25 diopters and 42 diopters. Now while examining the anterior eye health, we check the ocular status of the eye starting from lid margin to the posterior surface of the lens. Next some parameters to be considered in RGP fitting. Like HVID, palpebral fissure height, pupillary diameter and total diameter. Now measuring the HVID, which is the horizontal iris diameter. Patient's HVID, is found to be 11.2 mm. Measuring the palpebral fissure height, which is the distance between the upper eyelid and lower eyelid. Patient's palpebral fissure height is 11 mm. Now we'll be measuring the pupillary diameter. Patient's pupillary diameter in photopic condition is 4 mm. In scotopic condition, Patient's pupillary diameter is found to be 5.5 mm. Now the total diameter, which is HVID minus 2 mm that equals 9.2 mm. This slide shows the calculations of the parameters for the trial lens fit. This is the value we got from the above parameters. Since we didn't find any trial lens, according to our required parameters. So we opt for the first trial. Now the hand washing techniques. Wet hands with water.
apply enough soap to cover all hand surface. Rub hand palm to palm. Now right palm over left dorsum with interlaced fingers. Next rub palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Rub back of fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rotational rubbing of left thumb clasped in right hand. Then rotational rubbing, fore and backwards with clasped fingers of right hand and left palm. Finally rinse the hands with water and dry thoroughly with single use towel. Now your hands are safe. Next let's move on to the RGP cleaning procedure. Here we can use a RGP lens solution or a multi-purpose solution. Now let's get started with the cleaning procedure of RGP lens. Here we use a multi-purpose solution and pour the solution over the lens in the left palm. Then with our right hand index finger, we rub the lens 10 times clockwise and then anti-clockwise. Then we rinse the lens thoroughly with the solution and finally it is ready for insertion. Considering our previous parameters, the first lens trial is this. Now the steps for RGP lens insertion. First lift the upper eyelid lid with thumb of the contralateral hand, then retract the lower eyelid lid with middle finger of the hand, holding the lens. Ask the patient to look straight, and move the lens towards the cornea until the contact is made. Now let's move on to the dynamic fitting assessment. Dynamic fitting includes position, which is 0, zero centration of the lens which is centered in the patient. Stability of the lens which is stable in all end gazes. Movement of lens which is checked after a blink. In our video patient's lens movement is 1 to 1.5 mm. Lastly in dynamic fit we check the pupil coverage, which is full in our case. Next moving on to the static fitting. Now we lift the upper eye lid with the thumb of the left hand, and with the right hand, holding the fluorescent strip. We stain the upper palpebral conjunctiva, to assess the static fit. In static fit we check the center, mid-periphery, and the periphery of the lens. In our case the lens center has heavy pooling, in mid-periphery third smiled pooling, and the periphery has inadequate edge clearance which is 1.5 to 2 mm. Following our findings the first trial fit is found to be steep, so next we move on to our second trial. Our second trial is this. This. Is. The dynamic fit. And. This is. The static fit. In the second trial dynamic fit. Position is 0 minus 1, lens is centered, there is stability in all gazes. Movement is 2 to 2.5 mm and thirds full pupil coverage. In the static fit, there is heavy touch in the center, mild pooling in the mid periphery inferiorly, and there is superiorly thick edge clearance. Second trial is found to be flat fit so we consider performing a third trial, in the dynamic fit. Position is 0 0, lens is well centered, and stable in all gazes. Movement is 1 to 2 mm and there is full pupil coverage. In the static fit, there is feathery touch in the center, pooling followed by touch in the mid-periphery, 
and there is adequate edge clearance 1 to 2 mm superior. Hence the fit is considered as ideal. Then we do the over refraction to finalize the lens power. Now the steps for lens removal. Place the forefinger of each hand on the lid of the patient, above and below the center of the lens. If necessary, move the eyelids slightly apart, in order to position the lid margin at the lens edges. Gently press the eyelid margins on the eye and towards each other, the lens will then pop out. This is the final lens prescription. Some points to be avoided while using RGP lens. Our ultimate goal is patient's comfort. Hence the patient is happy. Thank you for watching this video. Our group partners are, Veras, Joy Shree, Lipika, Sorov, Shona, 